Rumored lineup of Intel 14 Gen 4 Raptor Lake Refresh series shows more cores and higher clocks. Nvidia is now shipping GeForce RTX 4090 Founders Edition with updated power connector. AMD Ryzen and Radeon Starfield game bundle is now live. And lastly, Nvidia not seeding GeForce RTX 4060 Ti 16 gigs for reviewers, and also AIBs are hesitant to participate in as well. This is Tech Track. So first that we have from ID Home here, this is an article we're looking at and basically the Raptor Lake refresh might be looking some increase in power or cores here, basically the performance cores and well, not the performance cores, just the efficiency cores. The perform performance core remained the same in most cases, but the efficiency core did went go higher. So as you can see here, the Raptor Lake refresh, we got the i9-4900K or F model, whatever models they are. It's basically 8 performance score and 16 efficiency cores because, you know, KF doesn't really matter. i7-14700 KRF models are also getting 8 performance score and 12 efficiency cores. This is an interesting one here is that the i5-14600 KF will be getting 8 performance cores similar to the i7 but uh, 4 less efficiency cores basically eight efficiency cores and i5-14500 will be looking at six performance and eight efficiency cores i5-14400f this is probably a newer addition to the lineup is that are basically not the new addition it's just the it's usually is the non f or f model but either way like six performance score eight efficiency score similar to the 14500 but maybe there could be some clocks differences i3-14300 getting six performance only and i3 14 100 and f also getting six p performance scores but i don't know what that means this uh epistopy here but we'll see about that so if you look closely the i9 4900k didn't change at all it is getting 24 cores and it will remain 24 cores no change here but the i7 14 700k does get increase in cores basically 20 cores yeah from 16 cores so four efficiency cores have been increased basically the performance will remain the same as i told you the i5 14600k is getting 14 cores to 16 cores so two gain which again these two gain are coming from uh for the 4600k for the eight performance scores I, I don't i think it wasn't really eight performance for the 4600k as long as i remember i think it was six but they bumped up to eight i, I could be wrong i could be entirely wrong but I, I as long as i remember it's eight performance scores but i could be wrong but yeah eight performance for eight efficiency cores so 14 to 16 i5 14500k didn't change it's the same or 14500 only didn't change at all 14 to 14 cores i5 14 400 did see a massive jump from 10 cores to 14 cores four cores increase and as you can tell that this is the new SKU, the i3 14 300 i wonder why they're using the i uh still but i thought they would change but maybe they're still using it for the you know the raptor lake for meteor lake there won't be any more that i uh acronym so that's kind of sad but anyway this is the last i acronym being used in any processor so yeah i3 14 300 is the new SKU will be six performance scores and the i3 14 100 is getting six performance scores that's what that means it had four cores but it's now getting six performance scores to two performance score increase that you know for budget friendly uh you know now i3 literally gives you six perform performance score that's kind of crazy honestly that is kind of crazy that they're bumping up the cores even for the i3 models that were supposed to be four cores but now bumping up to six that is great and hopefully the pricing would be amazing too because this is great for the budget-friendly uh builders here so yeah that's pretty good not to mention that also increased the uh, well clock frequencies but not too much basically uh, less than 200 megahertz but still it's a bonus and it's gonna help a lot in terms of you know performance so yeah that's crazy stuff next up we have a reddit uh twitter user uh not twitter user reddit user has posted this here that user prack 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 here and as you can see this is the brand new 4090 fe shortens and pins basically newer uh, pins that igor's lab have discussed the i believe that's the 12 v2 x6 that was the pin the newest pin and this is the rtx 4090 we're looking at and there it is this is the newest pin we're looking at which is completely identical obviously but it has a shorter pin yes and the the reason they're doing that because it kind of helps the with the problems the issues that we face the burning issues the melting issues and i believe this uh version of the power connector is 
comparatively better. So as you can tell, it, it it looks identical. There is not a way you can tell if the previous one was the you know they're using the previous one or this one. But in terms of you know the deeper design, it kind of is different. And we've discussed in a in a very long time uh, previous video. So yeah, you should check it out. So I'll be interested to see if now we will get any issues with this connector hopefully not because this is this is well researched well i engineered i hope i'm hopeful that it's gonna be completely fine so next up we have the amd and bethesda partnering up for the starfield and you can get a starfield uh, game bundle basically if you can buy the starfield premium edition you can get it from these processors the ryzen 9 models as you can tell all of the ryzen 9 7000 uh, series of cpus you can get uh the premium edition also you can get the premium edition from the amy radeon gpus here as you can tell but not the uh, not until you can get a 60 7600 or a 6650 xt you know those if you're going for the middle uh mid-range gpus you might not get the premium edition rather than standard edition but other than that the 6700 the 6700 xt the 6750 xt the 6800 6800 xt and the above and beyond all of them you can get the starfield you're gonna also get the pc system powered by the amd ryzen 7 5700g or amd ryzen 5 5600g paired with an amd radeon graphics card as listed above then you can get the premium edition or also an amd ryzen processor paired with amd radeon graphics card as listed above so you can get uh, the premium edition for these ones other than that you will getting the standard edition for the Ryzen 7 and 5 models and the uh, listed GPUs right here for the standard edition. So these are the system powered by AMD, the eligible AMD Ryzen products and the eligible AMD Radeon products. And they're also giving the Windows OS only application basically. Start for the premium edition, PC edition that you can download. Obviously, that is the case. But yeah. That's uh that's the deal that we're talking about here. If you can grab one or if you want to grab one, you can get this game for free. And last but we have a Twitter report from Hardware Box here, and they're saying that the RTX 46 Ti 16 gigs meant to be arriving this month. War on the street is uh, 18th July, of course, and they cannot really confirm or deny that. And Nvidia also has an announced here, obviously. But the thing is, it's not really coming to them basically they are reviewers right but nvidia is not sending any fe models because there isn't any rtx 4060 ti 16 gigs fe but they're also not sending any model from other aibs to the reviewers basically and that kind of explains a lot of things there was a, a story of in the front or in the past basically not too past like maybe like two or three days ago where like uh, nvidia was threatening the aibs to not uh, you know to not uh, partner with intel for the battle maze right because I, I believe the battle maze will be releasing next year hopefully fingers crossed but yeah the aibs are also not interested in 4060 ti 16 gigs you know they don't want to promote it because the sales are terrible for the 4060 ti uh, 8 gigs models for so no guarantee the 16 gigs will uh, promote well and rightfully they won't because it's a 500 dollars card for a rtx 4060 ti that performs like a 3060 ti in some cases and even loses in some cases but extra vram i don't think that's gonna benefit so much that to the point that they're gonna sell so that kind of makes sense why nvidia is not sending any uh gpus to the reviewers just like the hardware unbox says so yeah nvidia kind of kind of messed up here